A homemade gift for Christmas just shows so much love and care for the people you are giving to. And today I am making a few homemade treats and homemade beeswax candles to give for some last minute Christmas gifts. It just so happened on this day that I am filming we actually got a little skiff of snow. That is all. But we're going to start off with some coffee in the morning and get going on some homemade pear butter. So I've shared this before in a different homemaking video, some fresh pear butter is a beautiful way to gift someone because it is just a work of love. I don't peel my pears and then I just put them in a slow cooker and then I puree them and can them up because then they are shelf stable for people if they don't want to use them right away and they're really cute in a gift basket just a wonderful gift that people can use edible gifts i think are definitely the way to go all right the next item i am making is some candied almonds and these are something i've never made before but they turned out beautifully they taste delicious and it's just something a little different than something super sweet so i will share any recipes that i did not make myself in the description box or if i have anything on the blog i'll make sure to put that down below as well so after coating them in their cinnamon salt vanilla egg white mixture it is time to roast them in the oven and just stir them every 15 minutes for an hour They have such a sweet cinnamony and a little salty crunch, a great combination. Just throw them in a canister and store them, gift them that way, put them in a little baggie and some other goodies and they are a nice addition to a gift. beeswax candles i make these every year whether for myself or to gift i often make them around this time of year to gift i find some thrifted jars some jars i've repurposed so some of them are from some face tallow i use some are from um pieces i've had before uh, some are just something i've been gifted and then this wood piece is one i found at a thrift store or a garage sale i think a garage sale and i thought that would make a beautiful candle so i am just hot gluing the wicks down and then getting my double broiler type um jar going with the beeswax pellets in it and then add a little coconut oil after it all melts put any essential oil droppings in if you want to make a scent or do it plain and start pouring so these are just a pretty simple gift but it again it's just something you made and so it is so thoughtful to make a gift for someone and this time of year is a great time to be having candles and what better candle than one you made in a thrifted or repurposed jar? husband's favorite Christmas goodie that I make Oreo balls simplest thing three ingredients you need crushed Oreos uh, eight ounces of cream cheese and then almond bark or white chocolate 
to melt over the top. So super simple, but it's really handy to have a food processor to mix it all together and create these. And then you let the dough harden in the fridge for a while, make the balls, and then I did flash freeze them. I've been doing that a lot lately with my cookies and that is just a great trick because then they don't stick to each other if you refreeze them later. And you'll see me working with these Oreo balls later in the evening with my oldest who will be helping me. But these are a fun addition to my goodies that I give out and make for friends and neighbors. can't have a Christmas related video without an eggnog latte, right? And with a little dash of nutmeg on top, it just got me going for the rest of the afternoon to continue making some Christmas goodies and our family supper. After the candles hardened and cooled, it is time to trim the wicks. And yes, you were seeing my husband in the background wearing his orange. He biked back from work that evening. that little snippet of God Rest You Merry Gentlemen from Mannheim Seamroller. I was practicing for a duet that I will be playing for Christmas Eve with a fellow piano player. But I thought I would use some more of those pears and make a pear crisp for my family for supper that night. I know it's not a gift, but you sure could make a warm, fresh crisp for someone to take over for a dessert or for a gathering. And it is just always so delicious. I have my apple crisp recipe on my blog that you can check out. And my little helper putting some crushed candy canes on top. I've never had that combination before and I thought I'd give it a shot. And I really like that little bit of mint with the Oreo. Mm -hmm. So here is an example of one of the baskets I have gifted. So if you watched my decluttering video, you saw that garland that I decluttered. I am gifting to a friend a red tea towel, and then I'm throwing in all of my handmade gifts. This pear butter, and then putting a beautiful Christmas cloth over it to decorate it up a little bit and make it look a little nicer. And then one of my homemade candles that I will be gifting and just kind of arranging it in the basket how I feel fits. And honestly, you could put it in a gift bag or wrap it or put it in a box. No one would care. Some candied almonds for them. And then this family really wanted some deer meat. And so I thought, what better way than gifting them that for Christmas time? And if you want to, throw in a gift card, which I will be putting in a gift card for them as well, just to show some love and appreciation. So I hope you are having fun DIYing some gifts this Christmas season and sharing the love. Mm -hmm.